So, so part of the hollow bones work and their order is we work with an international men's group called the Mankind Project. And they do very important work of, of, of initiating men and getting them profoundly and deeply in touch with their emotional bodies and, and developing a real camaraderie and respect and maturity among the sacred masculine. And uh, so I was invited in to start doing Zen training. And so we did Zen training, we did classical sessions. And uh, there are these moments when inside a, a, a Marshall school, and our Rinzai school is a martial school. And what I've been known to do is strike people. And, you know, I rarely do it because you have to be very careful because you go to jail or be in a lawsuit and lose everything. So if you're going to use that kind of intervention, you have to be really careful when you use it. And so there was a, a fellow there and, and who had a cold. He was wrapped up in blankets, right? He was whining. He didn't want to sit. We commit to sit no matter what. He just has a cold, right? So we're, so we're walking kin hand. And he's cold, and he's huddling up, and he's right. So he was walking past, and the lines crossed, right? And it was just like, I'm dealing with a stage four throat cancer. And so I got a little cranky. I'm looking at this wimp, right? And he's, uh, he just won't straighten himself out. So it's, it's time for Rinzai to show up, right? So I just reach in as we go past. I reach in in his blanket through his blanket and I grab him by the chest and I pick him up. I get two big hands full of, of muscle and hair and chest skin. And I pick him up and I slam him into the wall. Bam! And his eyeballs leap out of his skull. And he looks at me like, oh my God, he's just unbelievably terrified. And I said, wake up. People are dying. You have a cold. <laughs> he goes screaming running off into the night. <laughs> Literally, ah! <laughs> Blankets are gone. He's gone. They go out and they find him. He's hiding in the woods. <laughs> so we go back to the Doksan room. They bring him to the Doksan room. We did three hours of shadow work together, and at the end, we're weeping in each other's arms. You know, he worked. You know, we worked out the bad dad, the spoiled child. We just, <laughs> we just ran it all, and then, bam! There he is in his endo like a rock after that, right? <laughs> and all the talk in the world and all of the safe presentation would not have broken that, would not have broken them through. So how do we keep the incredible ferocity, oh, wake up, and realize it's the theatric to allow penetration that's deep enough and impressive enough to break through the layers of ego. Right? So we don't want to lose the intensity or the ferocity as we move into the postmodern, wonderful equal realms, right? Everybody's so nice, which is very important, very right? compassionate. But we don't want to lose the fierceness of the quality that can, can allow a penetrating moment of insight. So, but if you use that, be careful. And realize you can always do it wrong.